Hey guys, Hector Castillo, Poppy from GirlShades.com, here to ask you, do you live alone? Because I want to come over, hang out, drink some beers, play some FIFA, kick your ass. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> the reason why I really want to ask you, I mean, that'd be cool. I've done that tons of times. I've met tons of people, had tons of great experiences where I've met, I guess, like fans or like students and had awesome adventures. So, um, anyways, <laughs> I was I was just lost in some nostalgia of the crazy shit I've had happen over the past few years. When you live alone, um, because you should, you're gonna have tons of advantages, and that's the point of this video, is to tell you that you should definitely live alone. I know it's not always uh, financially possible, and if that's the situation, then of course I understand, uh, but you can always find a cheap apartment somewhere if you have some sort of income uh, even if it's on the outskirt of town because that's where it's cheaper if you have to do that that might help uh, Although living with some friends, but in the center might be easier for logistics and get you more action in general with girls Because that's one of the things that it helps but for the most part being alone is best because logistics, but also freedom Man. I'll explain that one later So logistics first of all I made a uh, video for Instagram. Uh, I was just sitting there and I was like, oh, I had a great idea and I made a little video. And uh, it talked about being alone and living alone and how that can really help you with girls. And the reason why it can is because it's logistical value. So when you live alone, you don't have to worry about your roommate being there or not being there when you bring the girl home. Uh, also, not only is this going to help you because of, I don't know, it's kind of weird to fuck someone while someone else is listening sometimes for some of you, or more private, I don't mind too much, uh, <laughs> but some of you might want to have that privacy, uh, but she especially will want that privacy, and I cannot tell you how many times I have heard girls ask me, um, do I live alone during conversation, or on the ride home, uh, when I'm on a ride home with a girl, like I invited her over for just to hang out, have some wine, watch a movie. And if she asks me if I live alone, I know pretty much with certainty I'm getting laid. Like it's almost like a 95% chance uh, when I hear that I'm getting laid. Uh, because when she's asking if she, you live alone, it's because she doesn't want anyone else to see her or hear her um, sucking and fucking. And this is gonna allow her to be discreet with her sexuality for the many reasons I've gone over many times. Women don't want to, uh, outspokenly market their sexuality and their freakiness and their kinkiness and their hidden uh, sluttiness. And they wanna save that for you, the guy who is worthy of seeing that side of her and everyone else gets the more professional uh, side of her where she doesn't open up and be her true self. So when you live alone via that privacy, you're going to increase your chances of getting laid by a lot because if you're with four of the roommates and they're all in the living room and making noise and da da da, you're going to have a little bit more of a situation where she doesn't feel so comfortable going so fast and sexually quickly with you. Uh, and so she might up, she might put up more reservations. Uh, and if you need help with uh, last minute reservations, actually indiscretion is a big one, uh, check out the description below. I'll put a video there where I talk about how to deal with last minute reservations. Uh, basically when a woman is just about to fuck you but not quite sure. And so when you don't have that fucking 20 person house always fucking busy. It was only seven people. I'm referring to uh, the fraternity house that I lived in college. Uh, I lived in a party house at one point, which was insane. That was only four people though. And then I lived in a house of seven people. But then you have to understand that there was people always coming in and out. So it was always fucking busy. Uh, it was kind of okay because it was a college situation. Girls understand it's a frat house. Uh, and it's almost kind of like hot. Like oh, I'm going over to a frat house. And I'm gonna get fucked by one of the frat guys. It's kind of sexy. Uh, and it fits with the whole fraternity sorority life. Um, but on some occasions, it definitely did interrupt my chance to get with a girl because I brought a girl home, but there's people in my room fucking hanging out and drinking, uh, you know, everyone's being loud. And sometimes it's messed with the uh, discretion and that kind of lost me a few girls, especially people knocking on your fucking door, waking you up to party. You can see how it can kind of hurt. But if you want to hear all of these stories, you can check out in the description below. I have a book called King of College that I wrote about these experiences, but it's not just about college. That's just the environment that I learned a lot of lessons about social circle game and building a reputation and using a reputation to meet friends and get girls. And so if you want to learn more about that and it applies to college and beyond, uh, check that out in the description below. It's called King of College. Buy it, give me your money and you'll learn a lot <laughs> and you'll get a lot of girls and make a lot of friends. Anyways, back to this. When you are living alone, you have the privacy and it's super great. And also you don't have to worry about any issues you have when it 
regards to, you know, maybe you are really loud when you fuck and you don't want your roommate to hear uh, you fucking. So it's gonna help you with your logistics. And it's also gonna be very freeing. You're not gonna have to worry about a roommate seeing her walking around naked to the bathroom, right? She's gonna feel freedom and you're gonna feel freedom in your own house. And that's gonna allow you to, and also yourself when you're not dealing with a girl, it's just great in general. You're gonna be free. You're gonna have your own space. Uh, and that's gonna give you a lot more confidence when you're in your castle, you're in your home, your fortress, this is your cave. And because it belongs to you, you feel comfortable there and that's gonna make uh, you happy in general, you know, especially if you work from home. I work from home and I have my own uh, apartment that I live in alone and it's fucking amazing. Uh, I'm always happy to wake up and I can do whatever I want, whenever I want and I don't have anyone there to tell me not to and I don't have to share anyone's fucking <laughs> dishes and them eating my food. It's just an amazing situation and you're free and she's gonna feel that too, especially when it comes to girls uh, coming over. She's gonna feel that freedom when she's with you and a lot of times I've had girls come over and it's almost like they get to just let go and they just get to be themselves 100% because the only person there is me and I know everything about them. I know their kinky side, I know their dark side, I know their happy side, their sad side. And so there's freedom there. And you create like your own secret garden where you can be whoever you want and she can be whoever she wants. And it's especially important because you're a man. And every man needs to at some point have something that is his. Whether it's a house, maybe for some of you it's a family, for some it's a profession, uh, for others it's uh, spiritual liberation, whatever it is. One of the best things you can have is your own place where you can be alone, isolated, and deal with your own problems, deal with your own mind, create the things you want to create, and be a man and live life as a man. And archetypically, a man has his own land, in his own house, in his own castle. And that's gonna help with girls in general, but also your general happiness. And that's what I want you to do. I want you to be happy, but also getting girls, because getting girls makes us really happy. Cool. So. Go get your own house, go get your own apartment. I know if you can't afford it, that might be an issue, but if you can, I would highly suggest that you do it. And if you have to work harder for it, well then great, I'm inspiring you to make more money and become financially independent, which is another pillar of uh, being a man, in my opinion. So, go live alone. All right, Hector Castillo Poppy from girlschase.com. Like, subscribe, ring the bell. Remember to check out King of College in the description below, and also, go fuck yourself as always. Bye.